Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the New York Giants who picked up Andrew Thomas in the draft. I think that's going to help their offensive line big time because I'm not exactly in love with it. Never really understood why they signed Nate Solda like they did. But most things around Daniel Jones are good. But is Daniel Jones good? I'm not exactly 100% sure about that. I love the McKinney drafting and free safety. We have to work on corner. We have to work on linebacker. Let's get to work. Let's go to the playoffs. We missed the playoffs year one, which really wouldn't happen if I wasn't the Giants, but all right. We went 6-9-1, the Redskins 11-4, the Washington football team. Cowboys 10-5-1, and the Eagles 8-7. I don't even know how I'm going to like title my videos with the Redskins team next year. I, I have no idea. Jones, 3,600 yards, 26-11. Elite. Barkley, 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns. Receiving Tate, 992 with 6. Shepard, 814 with 4. Ingram, 606 with 2. Slayton with 7. On defense, Blake Martinez, 103 tackles. Sack totals, 5 for Frackwell, 4.5 for Williams, 4.5 for Ximes. Interceptions, 3 for Bradbury, 3 for McKinney, which is good. 2 for Martinez, 1 for Love, Baker, and Mayo. I have no idea who David Mayo is. I have to be completely honest with you. Foles with the MVP, which is weird. Coach of the Air, Anthony Lynn. NFC Offensive Player, Drew Brees. Going to beat out Foles for some reason. Defensive Player of the Year. We're not going to have anything up here. Offensive Rookie, Daniel Jones. I stand corrected. Defensive Rookie of the Year. DeAndre Baker? I mean, that's not bad. Let's go take a look at our XP. I can't imagine Daniel Jones has a ton. If he does, you know, whatever, but I highly doubt it. Two up to a 77 overall. Four for Slayton's good. Five for Andrew Thomas. I don't even know what to do with Daniel Jones. I probably have to stick with him. Four for McKinney up to an 81 overall. Can't wait for all the comments. Oh, you don't think Daniel Jones is that good? No. Leave me alone. The Texans beat the Cowboys in the Battle of Texas. 31 to 28. Now, Leonard Williams, I believe they gave him like a four-year deal. We'll bring back our kicker as well. David Mayo, not really too concerned about. But yeah, we're going to have a ton of money. So we'll make it happen. So here are my two options. Pick me right outside linebacker. Mid first looks like a beast. Or Thomas, who's mid first. And I think I'm going to go pick me. 73 overall hidden development. Rank 17. That's fine. 75 tackles, 71 hit power, 86 speed, 87 acceleration. In the second round, we're going to go Kirby Levine. He's a 70 overall normal development. We can get rid of Nate Soul there. 91 strength, 74 run block, 72 pass. So we have an 81 overall team, 83 offense, 79 defense. It's really going to depend on Daniel Jones, which is just unfortunate. We either have to get rid of Carter or Fackrell. Carter has two years in the league. Fackrell's probably the same, right? Four years. All right, so we're just going to get rid of him. Not going to trade him away and do anything like that. So let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs with the wild card spot at 9-7. and seven. We're going against the 9-7 and seven Seahawks. The Cowboys 11-5, Eagles 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Redskins 5-10-1. and one. Jones 3,500 yards, 28-8. and eight. Rushing Barkley 1,400 yards, 8 touchdowns, 7 for Lewis. Tate 8-10 with 7, Slayton 747 with 7, or 745 with 7 rather. 5 for Shepard, 5 for Ingram, 1 for Barkley. And on defense, Mayo, 107 tackles. Sack totals, 5 for Pickney, 4.5 for Williams, 4 for Carter. And interception, 6 for Bradbury, not bad. 2 for Baker, Peppers, and McKinney, and a few ones. Yearly Awards, what do we got? Baker with the MVP, Annie Daniel Jones, no coach there, Matt Nagy. We could be up here, we are, with Pat Shermer at 8. NFC Offensive Player, no Daniel Jones. Defensive Player of the Year, Shaq Thompson. Bradbury at 9, Offensive Rookie, we have Meadows at seven, defensive rookie of the year. Pinkney's going to take it home. Good, good, good. So what do we have for XP? Two for Daniel Jones, up to an 80. Meadows with three. Two for Thomas, two for Hernandez. I don't know why. I had Levine starting, but I don't know why he isn't starting now. Two for Slayton, one for Shepard, one for Tate. And on defense, Pinkney with superstar with seven XP. That's what I'm talking about. Two for Lawrence, one for Tomlinson, one for Leonard Williams. Can we beat the 9-7 and seven Seattle Seahawks? Of course not, but if we were playing against the Giants, you better believe they would beat our ass. Let's take a look at the uh, what happened. 30-27, so we lost by three. Not a huge deal. Wilson, 3-27, and one Jones, 236 with nothing. Barkley, two touchdowns, one for Deion Lewis. Dorsett, 98 with a touchdown. Metcalf, 95. 
Touchdown for Penny. Touchdown for Penny. The Bears beat the Ravens 45 to 24. You better believe Ingram's coming back to our team. Same with Tomlinson. Same with Peppers. Martinez. I doubt anybody else, realistically. What do we have for money? Because we haven't paid Daniel Jones yet. $67 million. Interesting. So we have $45 million in cap space. And, of course, Patrick Mahomes is there. We're not going to do that, you know, but I would like to. Don't get me wrong. Awuze, I think I'm going to bring in. I feel like I've been bringing him in a lot lately in my videos, but we're almost to Madden 21, so we don't have to really worry about that all too much. Rankins, no. McCourty, no. I think... Honestly, and I hate to say it, I think we're fine. And we're just going to be held back by Daniel Jones. I I think that's how it's going to be. And Bauckham, eh, no, because we have Martinez who we just brought back. We're good. We got a Wuze on the team, though, so that's fine. Let's go to the draft. Now, we have the 23rd overall pick, and we have some options. I like pace a lot, but then I look at Jack Hogue, and there's a chance he falls, but it's really the offensive line that I want to build up. And we don't really need an end. We could use another middle linebacker. We could use a guard. But I'm going to go with Hogue. He's a 76 with hidden development. Ranked number 9. 94 strength. 78 run block. 82 pass block. So in the second round, I'm going with another guy with no combine report. Dominique Blackshear. He's a 68 normal, so not great. 89 speed. 91 acceleration. 72 catching. 73 catch and trap. So we have an 84 overall team. 85 offense. 83 defense. Look at our fullback with Superstar. But I'm hoping our new right tackle can help this offense. Then on defense, I mean, we're pretty good. We need another corner. Maybe a middle linebacker. But other than that, we are good to go. We didn't make the playoffs. We went 6-10, and ten, tied with the Eagles. The Washington football team, 9-7. and seven, And the Cowboys, 8-8. Eight and eight. Jones, about 4,000 yards, 26-12. and 12. That's all right, I suppose. Barkley, 1,300 yards, about 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns. Five for Lewis. Receiving Tate, about 1,300 yards, 8 touchdowns. Shepard, 720 with 9. Ingram, 680 with 4, 3 for Barkley. On defense, Mayo, 115 tackles. Sack totals, 9.5 for Pinckney. 6.5 for Williams, 6 for Carter. And interceptions, 2 for McKinney, 2 for Awuze. And a few ones to go around. Now for the yearly awards, what do we got? Watson with the MVP. No Giants. Coach of the Year, Freddie Kitchens. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Nothing. Defensive Player of the Year, Isaiah Simmons. Makes sense. We have Pinkney at five, which is awesome to see. Offensive Rookie, Brewer at eight. Defensive Rookie of the Year. For XP, we have two for Daniel Jones. Our rookie right tackle has star development for XP points. I was really hoping for Superstar, not going to lie. Two for Slayton, one for Shepard, two for Meadows. And on defense, three for Pinkney's good, two for McKinney, one for Lawrence, one for Brad. The Browns beat the Seahawks 27-24. to We're definitely bringing back Barkley. You know they're going to do that in real life. Zeitler can go. Hernandez is coming back. Goodbye, Bradbury. Carter will come back. Hill, maybe. That's a big mate. So we have $43 million in cap space. We need a center. We need a right guard. And we do need a receiver. Could even use Darius Leonard, to be honest. I'm going to go Michael Gallup. He's a scheme fit. Let's increase this money a little bit. I want to make one final push. This might be one of my final rebuilds for Madden 20. And it can't end soon enough, you know? I mean, it could end, I guess. I could just end it now. But I'm, I'm not going to do that to you guys. So let's make a play in Leonard. We're going to have to do a little bit more for that. Let's go up here. Let's go up there. 98 total points. That should do the trick. Jason Kelsey's on the board, but we have $14 million. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to come to our team. Something tells me that. Pound team is up there. Oh, our guy Connor Williams, but I'm not going to be able to get him with $2 million. And we'll be able to draft a guard, maybe move a tackle over, something like that. Kelsey turned us down. Gallup turned us down. I don't want to play Daniel Jones either, but come on now. What are we doing there? I really think I'm going to make a play at Dante Pettis now. Unless, is Connor Williams still on the board? He is not because he'd be a little bit further up there. Let's bring in Zeitler for one year as well. Because I believe we have next year and the year after left. So if we can make a nice little run at it, that'd be nice. So let's do that offer. That's 100 total points. I imagine we'll get both of them, which will be perfect because really not many weak points left on the team at that point. We got both of them good. Let's go to the draft. So we have the 10th overall pick in the first round. And look at these corners. I, I mean, Sherman has to be the best one. 
I'm not, let's not even look. Let's just take him. 77 overall hidden development. 91 speed, 72 man, 78 zone, 75 play rec. Look at this right tackle in the second round, and we need a center. Let's take him. Abram Baxter. 78 with hidden development, ranked number one. 95 strength, 83 run block, 79 pass block. They drafted a backup quarterback for us? He might get X-Factor and take over for Daniel Jones. I'm just saying. We have an 86 overall team, 88 offense, 84 defense. The offensive line is finally coming along, which is awesome. We got good receivers, good running back, quarterback not so much. Then on defense, we're looking really good. Let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs at 9-7, and seven, and what is Madden Sim going to do? We're going against the 11-5 Bears. They're going to be so confused. Cowboys and the Redskins 8-8, eight eight, the Eagles 6-10. and 10. Jones, 4,000 yards, 28-13. Barkley, 1,500 yards with 17 touchdowns. Receiving Shepard, 875 with 3. Slayton, 700 with 8. Ingram, 699 with 9. Barkley, 3. On defense, Martinez, 115 tackles. Sack totals, 8.5 for Leonard, 7 for Williams, 3.5 for Tomlinson. Interceptions, 3 for Awuze, 2 for Peppers, and a lot of ones to go around. Yearly awards, what do we got? Wilson with the MVP. We have Barkley at 9. Coach of the year, Matt LaFleur. No Giants, NFC Offensive Player, Barkley all the way up at number three. Mariota at four, interesting. Defensive Player of the Year, Fred Warner. Zach Bonds up there, no Giants, Offensive Rookie. Nothing, Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have Sherman at four, was hoping a lot higher than that. And McCullers at nine. So let's see what we have for XP. Nolan has five, so we still don't know. But Baxter, star development, five XP points. And let's see. Oh, Sherman, star with four, come on. I was so excited for that to be Superstar, X-Factor, something. Let's find out what Madden's going to do. Giants or Bears? Hey, hey, they took the Bears. Can we beat the Seahawks even though we lost last year to them, I believe? 21-14. to 14. How disgusting. I don't think Daniel Jones is going to be all that great. I understand, like, you got to believe in your team, but sometimes you got to see what's in front of your face, you know? Wilson, 333. It's, uh, look at that. I don't even want to finish my sentence. 99 yards. Barkley, 126 with a touchdown. Homer with a touchdown. Lockett, 103 with one. Sims with one. I'm taking a quarterback in the draft or starting our backup. I can promise you that. The Colts beat the Saints 24-16. to You know it's going to be all the rookies. Daniel Jones, McKinney's up there up to start development. Lawrence, Zeitler, Baker. A lot of great players. I am actually going to let Daniel Jones just walk himself out of the door because I am not interested. So I'm going to franchise tag Zeitler, and then we have no money for free agency. So let's go to the draft and find our quarterback. Or maybe we don't have to. Nolan has superstar. All right. That makes me feel a lot better. So we have the 26th overall pick, and I'm kind of leaning Daniel because we don't really need a receiver. Don't need an end whatsoever. And then a right guard, like we have Zeitler, so it doesn't really make sense, even though we could take him, just start him over him, I suppose. But I'm going to go to the defensive player, Daniel. He's a 71 with hidden development, 79 tackles, 77 hit power, 82 speed, 83 acceleration. How is this right tackle here next round? Armin McLean, 80 overall with hidden development. 93 strength, 85 run block, 76 pass. So in our final year, we have an 86 overall team, 89 offense, 83 defense. And we're looking good all around. On offense, on defense, we better make the playoffs. Let's get going. Moment of truth. Did we make it? We did it 9-7. We're playing the Panthers at 11-5. What is this? The Washington football team, 14-2. Cowboys 7-9 and the Eagles 5-11. Nolan, 4,100 yards, 34-13, already way better than Daniel Jones. Barkley, 1,500 yards with 14 touchdowns. Slayton, 981 with 5. Shepard, 920 with 7. Barkley, 658 with 7. Ingram, 574 with 6. And Pettis with 4. On defense, Martinez, 108 tackles. Sack totals, 13.5 for Pinckney, great. 6 for Leonard, 5.5 for Carter. Interceptions, 3 for Awuze, 2 for Peppers, and 3 ones to go around. Now for the yearly awards. Watson with the MVP. Barkley at nine. Coach of the year. We're not up there. NFC Offensive Player. Barkley's going to take it home. Awesome. Defensive Player of the Year. Telvin Smith. What are we talking about here? Pinkney at seven. Offensive Rookie. Nothing defensive rookie. Where is our linebacker? There he is at number eight. Now let's see what we have for XP. What we have for development. 
McClain would star with three. I guess that's all right. I keep hoping for Superstar, even X-Factor. I know it's never going to come, but Nolan has four. It'll be up to an 81 overall. And then Daniel has star development, six XP points. All right, let's upgrade the team and then go find out what team we're going to lose. Can we beat the 11-5 Carolina Panthers, make it to the next round? Of course we can. What a fitting way to end probably one of our last videos of Madden 20. Just getting screwed over by the Sim. I, like, who's even their quarterback? Bridgewater, 139 with a touchdown. Nolan, 213, 2-1. McCaffrey, 110 with a touchdown. Barkley with one. Bridgewater with one. Pettis, 73 yards. Touchdown for Shepard. And a touchdown for Ian Thomas and Saquon Barkley. But that is going to be it for this video. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Come on back for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you to my patrons for the month of July. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, the oldest man alive, Greg. And thank you, hashtag Team Relic.